Alright, check it. We've beaten the gargoyles now. So let's level up. Like I told you, anything in vitality and endurance is never wasted. Level of strength too. Kindling the bonfires allows you to get 10 Estus Flask when you rest at them instead of 5. Get a bow, good. Mirrors do we have? 140, that should do it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this little demon down here. I'm gonna try to fight a melee first, I've never done that. Cause I'm a mage bitch. Let's see what happens. That's what happens. from time to time. My defense on this guy, I've always used magic or arrows, like a giant jump. I will learn to rectify that this time. Yeah, give me what you got, we'll see.
losing now. Oh, really? Alright, Jackie. This game just got like super easy right now. He just dropped a tight night catch pole. Let me show you what I mean by that. Over my far right here, you'll see that I have 200 right hand weapon damage. Just look at that tight night catch pole. 294, right out the gate. His moveset's not that great. But it does work. Let's go to the forest now. Hit a little bitch running at us. Get ready for those dudes. Now I think with the um, Drake sword, you'll still one shot them, but get ready to do at least two slashes. That's not going to do Hydra first or not. That's the R2 attack, by the way. Which is what the Titan Demon was trying to do to me. Yeah, that little guy right there will pop up on you. That door right there, you can't open yet. Cost 20,000 souls to get the key. And when you do open it, don't ever go in there human. I'll show you that later though. That's a invisible wall, by the way. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do more than that. I ex fully expect to get invaded. over to this right over here there's three of those little uh, tree motherfuckers they're waiting for you to pick up that thing on the corpse Don't worry, this isn't a boss door. There is, however, some stone giants in there. Now the trick to them is to beat them fast. And hopefully they'll try to cast their spell. Yeah, then you can just keep them going. Further up in here, there's some badass armor, but it's guarded by two stone giants. I think four of these trees. Three now. Bitch. Do you spell? Now, if you don't kill them before they do that spell, a little circle is just around me. Will make you move slow as shit. Here we go.
Oh, wow. Apologize, Chucky. I'm not at my best right now. Good news is we don't have to. We got the armor, so we don't have to go back to uh, in that area. But I should have been able to get. These guys are all aggroed now. Yeah, so if you don't ever want to aggro them, just don't get that little thing on the corpse. Somebody's always like shit on this dude, so I'm gonna fight him again. Spell. Or not. There's a, another grass bastard here. I missed. Are you serious right now? I forgot how to even make him come up. I think I have to go in there. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just fight him on the way out. Basically, he's a trap set. That snake on the tree is hostile, by the way. And there's a tree fag. That's where to get a partisan, by the way, if you want to test it out. Stone giant over here. Because you're most likely running string, you definitely want to summon Beatrice. She'll shoot magic at the butterfly. I don't know how well this is gonna go. I don't think I've ever melee fought this boss. And I should have grabbed the dragon. I should have pushed that and shit. There you go. 
No, because I haven't specifically said it yet, but I will now. Don't ever use a boss soul. Let's see, I got the soul of the moonlight butterfly. Those are used to make special weapons. Some of them you might like, so don't consume them. Save them until you get to Orlando so you can make a boss woman.